The minimum wage is officially higher for fast food workers in California. And Oakland International Airport is requesting a name change that SFO does not like. It's all coming up in Synced In. Hi everyone, I'm Janelle Wang. What's in a name? Apparently not enough information. Oakland International, known as OAK, wants to change its name to the San Francisco Bay Oakland International Airport. The Port of Oakland says more than half of frequent international travelers and nearly a third of domestic travelers are unaware where OAK is. And to make sure travelers know it's in Northern California, it wants to modify its name. The Port of Oakland hoping it will increase travel in and out of Oakland. Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao and East Bay business leaders support the idea, but SFO and some other Bay Area leaders say it will cause a lot of confusion for travelers. The Port of Oakland is going to discuss the name modification at its board meeting next week. Starting Monday, the minimum wage for fast food workers in California increased to $20 an hour. That's considerably higher than the statewide minimum wage of $16 an hour. The new law only applies to chains with at least 60 locations nationwide. Restaurants at airports, hotels and theme parks are exempt, but some restaurant operators say even though they're exempt, they may need to hike their wages to keep up with the shifting labor market. Meantime, some of the fast food chains affected by the new law, including McDonald's, Starbucks and Chipotle, have already said publicly they intend to raise menu prices. A beautiful start to the week, but enjoy the sunshine while it lasts. Here's meteorologist Kerry Hall. The start of the week is looking so much calmer compared to the mixed bag of weather we had over the weekend with rain, sunshine, thunderstorms and high winds. Well, now we are able to enjoy some spring like temperatures. Highs reaching into the low 70s. Take a look at our inland forecast up to 74 degrees today and some mid 70s tomorrow as well. But then on Wednesday, we're going to see our next storm system come in. It's going to first arrive with some wind and colder temperatures and then the rain arriving on Thursday into Friday. We may even see another round of thunderstorms in the forecast before the cool air settles in for the weekend and our highs only reach into the low 60s. We're well, looking at San Francisco. We're going from our start of the week with mostly sunny skies and mid 60s to only upper 50s by the end of the week with some off and on rain. Even the weekend is looking pretty chilly out there even as the rain will be moving out. We'll be tracking all of the changes for you in our microclimate forecast. You can check it out on NBCBayArea.com as well as here on social media. That's going to do it for this edition of Synced In. We'll see you next time.